What's up guys and happy Monday. Coming to you from old Pachesco. Pachesco is my <clears throat> work slash scouting mobile. Uh, if you didn't already know that. But uh, you know maybe 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 Pachesco needs like her own like proper introduction video or something like that. Check out my ride kind of thing. I, you know what? We'll save that for another episode. But um anyways <clears throat> Welcome to vlog number one of our 910 vlog series. I don't know, but whatever. Uh, this past Friday, I went on my first clapper rail hunt with my good buddy, Judd Brock. Uh, we had a couple weeks off in between waterfowl seasons, and uh, he had been telling me that I needed to give it a shot. I'd been wanting to kind of try it. I didn't know that much about it, other than it, it looked like it'd be a, a, a pretty, pretty fun thing to do best way I can explain it is it's pretty much like upland hunting but from the boat. Um, you're basically standing on the bow of the boat while a guy in the back of the boat is push pulling you through the marsh and you're jumping these clapper rails, flushing these clapper rails and, um, and, and shooting them. So it's a, it's, it's a very fun experience and um, if, if you have the opportunity in your area to do that I definitely would give it a shot. Um, if you're around the Wilmington area, definitely check out um, Judd Brock. He does guide some of these hunts. <clears throat> so get up with him. I'll put a link for him um, to where you can look him up on his social media. Um, but anyways, for now, let's jump into the video. I'm gonna be the first guy to whiff. Yep. So you said they fly a lot slower, so. They fly pretty slow. Like a lot of times if you let them get up and get away from you a little bit. So you don't really need much of a lead usually? If they turn down wind, they can move pretty quick, but they're not very fast. See them swimming away from you as well? Yep. Yeah. Shoot them. Nice. Word. <laughs> first clap of rail. Gotta get better at <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. Well, we're not Scott. We're not Scott. No, no, we're gonna get him now. Plus, it's got that. There he is. Uh, that just shows how freaking well they can hide even in that thin grass. Having fun yet? Oh, yeah. It's always fun when the, when the, when the gun's going off. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm over leading it. It's got. You got to get used to that. Yeah, they're freaking slow. Cause that first one I led them. The second one I just put it dead on them. There's one swimming at your one o'clock, really close. He's about to flush. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> you just tore that thing apart. Recording. Since we're on them, let me shoot one more, and then we'll swap with somebody. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot one. Oh, I see. I see one. Twelve o'clock, right in front of me. Is he? Yeah. I'm gonna try to wait for you, Cameron. Yep, there he goes. Nice. <laughs> I tried to wait. No, you're good. There's probably another one. Get up! Oh, I got it real. Did good. you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Super. It looked like it was perfectly in focus. Sweet. You 
said something about seeing a raccoon out here. And there he is. Him. I think Cameron said something about it. I've actually never seen one in the marsh here. Well guys, so far so good. We've got on a few. Got to shoot my first clapper rail. I think we got five or six or so. So uh, now we're swapping. Cameron's up to bat. Judd's on the pole. What's up? Yeah! Nice. Got him. Good shot. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Boy. Got that one though. Put another one in here. Cameron got him a few. Swapping it up again. Captain Judd at the bow. Y'all make him welcome. <laughs> right? Trying to hide from us. Nice. Alright. Always good to have some extra shots here too. Cause a lot of times you'll like flush two and shoot two and then like another one flushes out and then another one flushes out. Yeah. If they fly, you gotta try. That's how I look at it. See him, Jeff? Yep, he's right here. Nice. You got a swimmer. Hey! Hey! Good shot. One's right there and the other one's right in that little circle. There's one swimming right here in front of us. There is. You got some two swimmers out to your left though. Should I take them or the seagulls? Seagull might be abandoned. I'm gonna get you. Nice. Got it. Told you I was gonna get you. Mid-morning update, took us about 10 minutes to kind of get in the zone, maybe 15 minutes. My first turn up, of course. And uh, once we found kind of that, that zone they were in, we've been whacking them. We got probably 25 birds, had a 30 bird goal, I think we'll reach that. So I'm gonna keep on picking on them, see what we can't do. Where's the other? Shooter. Nice. That was some fun shooting right there. Heck yeah, that was a lot of back to back excitement right there. Pretty good. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Try him. Try him. Shooting that close one. one. You got one way out to the left, too. See if you yeah, get this close one and swing to that right bird. Go left. That was too far too, away. way too close. Holy crap. Golly. Geez. There's way more. Shells. I didn't even see that one. Flush, flush. Yeah. Hey, hey. Yeah. Nice. 
Yeah, dude, this is a blast. I knew you'd like it. I mean, it is really Dude, cool. I like anything that flies, I want to shoot it. And it's consistent. Yeah. That's what, that's what it's like you said. You just kind of got to find that area, and once you find them, it's like, then you kind of, then you pretty much stay on them. It's like they got one little area they're hanging. Super easy bird to feed with them. I'm gonna put him to the right side a little bit. There you go. Lost him. Okay. Got it. Nice shot. All right, guys, I guess that about does it for the day. We uh, ended up doing very well. I, I figured we'd come out here and shoot a few. I did not expect to shoot a three-man limit. So um, ended up with 45. Uh, we did end up losing two. Got 43 in the boat, but we shot 45. So definitely had a good time. Thanks to old Jetty for having me out. Well, hello. And uh, what did you think about today? Man, I was impressed. I mean, we had some good shooting. I mean, we, we missed a lot less than I usually have <laughs> out here, so that helped us. But uh, we just had a really big tide, which allowed us to hunt for a while um, and really concentrated the birds. And we had a couple areas we got into, and it was like bird here, bird there, bird here, bird there, a lot of shooting. So uh, it was fun. It was a good time. We'll have to do it again. All right, guys, here's the final product. Two birds shy of a three-man. Which we had a three-man. We just didn't get them back if you like this man's first hunting vlog tell him so he'll keep doing them i think he should do them judd here ain't left me alone about doing a vlog and he said uh you better vlog this morning well i'm glad you did because uh yeah. to be my first rail hunt i think that's uh that's that's pretty stinking good right there yeah that's the that's the best rail hunt that i've had granted we had some shooters you didn't miss you missed a couple i missed and Cameron missed a couple, I missed a couple, but um, they're just good. There's a lot of birds out there. We're going early season before they migrate south further and before they get shot up by other hunters uh, can be very productive. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.